Alhamdulillah for Allah's innumerable favors and for the beautiful meanings and reminders that we've heard and for the blessing of this week together, praying together, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, eating together, seeking knowledge, sacred beneficial knowledge, healing together, learning about how we become in harmony with the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us spiritually and physically and in every other way. Understanding how our religion is an unbroken chain connected back to Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam and to all of the prophets and messengers and how it is intact and coherent and how the Quran is a confirmation for what has come before. Learning about these ahadith qudsiyah that really teach us to yearn for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to follow in the footsteps of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Lessons on love. How we become people who are lovers and connected to Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu wa sallam. These are all immense gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I remember my teacher Sayyid al Habir Umar saying in a gathering like this in one of the Mawalid, he said, your expression of gratitude for gatherings like this is to ensure that other people one day join these gatherings. Our job is to really embody and take what we've learned and implement what we've learned and that we take it out into the world. That it is represented in who we are, in our friendships, in our relationships, in our homes, in our dealings with our spouses, our raising of our children, our dealings with our neighbors, and so forth, that they see the light of the Prophet wasallam and this deen reflected in us in some degree. We have work to do. We have to translate this love and this light and this beauty and the gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. We have to translate that into all of our actions and our words so that we can help our brothers and sisters in humanity connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and find eternal salvation to take them from the constriction of the life of this world. People who are obsessed and can only find some comfort in something that takes away their mind. That they are absorbed, self-absorbed in all of these things, social media and intoxicants and drugs and all of the diseases that are spreading because of those things. We cannot sit idly by and because we have some inferiority complex and we think that we are victims, we do not share the light of Islam that will elevate them and honor them. How can we sit idly by and not give them that? When we see these people, when we stand before Allah, they might say, this person was a Muslim, they never told me anything. And when we do that, when we commit, to the intentions that were said before. And we should all make an intention and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes us servants of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Servants of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we do khidmah for the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The story that Sayyidi Amu Tarif, he mentioned of Sayyidina Rabi'a bin Ka'b al-Aslami that he was one of the guards of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when the verse was re revealed, Wallahu ya'asimuka min nas and Allah will protect you from all people. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told all those people who are guarding him, you can go. Your job is over. They all went home except Sayyidina Ka'b. Sayyidina Rabi'a bin Ka'b al-Aslami radiallahu anhu. He slept at the doorstep of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, what are you doing here? He said, I just want to serve you. I just want to serve anything. Can I bring you your wudu water? Can I, anything you need, O Messenger of Allah. You don't need me as a guard. Use me for something. Put me to service. Put me to good use. And if I serve you, 
then I will attain the highest degrees of honor with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The highest degrees of nearness, the highest degrees of knowledge and ma'rifah and openings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us translate everything we've learned into our relationships with others so that the numbers grow and the beauty of Islam spreads into people's hearts and that there will be a restoration of what is pleasing to Allah and good and beautiful. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for tawfiq wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.